Hello and welcome back to VPC. My name is Miranda and in this video I'll be reviewing the Gigabyte Aorus FV43U gaming monitor. This 4K 43 inch monitor comes featuring a 144Hz refresh rate for PC and a 120Hz for console with support for AMD and NVIDIA systems. It also features 1ms response time, 10 bits color depth, a native 4000 to 1 contrast ratio, 99% Adobe RGB coverage, 97% DCI-P3 and 150% sRGB coverage. FV43U offers a very sleek design and my first thought was that it was a TV instead of a gaming monitor but then BAM! You look at the back of it and you can see that it is indeed a gaming monitor with all that gaming design on the back panel. It also has thin bezels and a glossy panel coating that still offers good anti-glare properties. The bezel offers a brushed aluminium styling that definitely feels premium. The Aorus logo is placed in the center of the bottom bezel. The Aorus eagle head can be found on the rear in the center, finished in a glossy style. The back of the monitor offers a sort of panel styling that does have reminiscent qualities of chest armor. Also on the back, you can see the VESA mounting holes if you want to wall mount this monitor, which probably is a quite good idea if you play mostly on consoles. When it comes to build quality, it does feel really high quality as we expect for this price point. The main body of the panel is made primarily from plastic with a metallic brushed aluminium border and it feels really sturdy. The stand comes in the shape of two feet that screw into the base of the monitor but doesn't offer any adjustments, but that's what you should expect for a monitor this size. As far as inputs are concerned, the Gigabyte FV43U features an audio lineout, 3.5mm audio jack, two HDMI 2.1 port, one display port, USB Type-C, super speed USB Type-B and two USB 3.0 ports. The OSD for the FV43U is incredibly advanced. You can navigate the various menus via the joystick or the remote controller. I will be honest, I do prefer the controller over the joystick because it makes the navigation just so much easier. You can completely customize the performance and picture quality of the monitor changing everything from colors, brightness, contrast ratio, local dimming, pixel response, and game modes. You can change between seven different picture modes from standard, VS, FPS, RTS, movie, reader, and sRGB. And what is really cool about this monitor is for video or photo editors, you can adjust not just red, green, and blue colors, but also cyan, magenta, and yellow for that color accuracy and you can control even hue and saturation separately. So this monitor is not just focused on gaming, but for creative productivity too, which is awesome. The VA panel on this monitor doesn't offer the greatest viewing angles with color shift and brightness deviating on a fairly obvious scale. Our monitor expert Charlie has done a bunch of tests on color accuracy and picture quality, and you can find all of this in the article on VPC website that you will find in the description box below. It also has two built-in speakers. Well, it was surprising how loud these speakers are, and if you are choosing not to use headphones, which I still think is a better option, but you can still get a pretty good experience just using these speakers. Now, finally, let's talk about gaming. It is awesome that it has two HDMI 2.1 ports, so if you have PlayStation 5 and Xbox, you can plug in both of them at the same time. But I do like playing on PC, but I just couldn't play for a really long time on this monitor because it just, it gets a bit overwhelming because the screen is so big. And also I do have bad eyesight and I don't like wearing my glasses while gaming. And with this size monitor, I don't need to wear my glasses because even from further away, I can still see everything, which just makes the whole gaming experience more enjoyable for me. So now I have loaded up CSGO to test this monitor and I thought before starting that this monitor will be way too big for a competitive game like this. But you know what? I actually really enjoy it. You can customize the settings to suit this game very nicely, although you can see a bit of ghosting. Whilst 43.4 inches isn't exactly optimized for competitive FPS, 
The screen performed to a high standard, offering good response and motion tracking. Next, I wanted to test this monitor on a single player title, so I turned on the shadow of the Tomb Raider, and as expected, the visual experience this monitor offered was utterly superb. Creating levels of immersion that smaller alternatives just can't. The HDR was one of the standout features of this panel, creating high levels of realism in both gaming and general content consumption scenarios. Enabled HDR has a huge difference on the quality of the game. Looking at sunlight, for example, the amount of detail that became available really added to the overall levels of realism and immersion. It is quite obvious that this monitor is more suitable for single-player titles rather than competitive. I also have tested this monitor on Xbox playing Gears of War. It does feel a lot like playing on a TV, but because I was sitting very closely, it was an extremely immersive experience. I also have put on some general images and videos to see how this monitor would feel while watching movies or just browsing, and I have to say, it does look really amazing. The monitor performed to a very high standard and the quality of the image was absolutely amazing. You can play with the settings in the OSD to get the best visuals possible for your chosen film or a game. 144Hz refresh rate and low 1ms MPRT, the perfect balance of speed and response needed for almost any type of gaming. The FB43U felt incredibly smooth when playing fast-paced titles while benefiting from its large screen and HDR performance in more story-based AAA games. It's a perfect option for gamers and non-gamers as well, and even though it is quite expensive, it does showcase a good value for money. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to this channel and also join our Discord server. Also, comment down below what you think of this monitor. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.